About to go to the movies, y'all. That was, that was weird. <laughs> So many of you know that I am a big fan of Alamo Draft House. If you don't know what Alamo Draft House is, it is a movie theater chain that started in Texas, hence the name Alamo, but it's a movie theater chain in which you have comfortable reclining seats, there's a full food menu, alcohol cocktail menu, great programming. They show first run movies, but they'll also sometimes show just like weird, you know, cult classics, little scene movies, documentaries. But I have to say, the thing that I really love about Alamo is that they don't take no shit. You cannot have your phone out during the movie and you cannot talk during the movie. Uh, there is a way to kind of like signal the ushers. So, if, you know, you're having a problem with someone, if, you know, there's someone next to you that's having, you know, a little conversation during the movie where they decide they want to pull their phone out and fucking tweet and get on Instagram during the movie and the screen is shining in your face, you can let the staff know and they'll come over and they'll be like, put your fucking phone down. And if you don't, get kicked out. They say it much nicer than that, I'm sure. In any case, yeah, Alamo makes for a great film going experience. And one of the things that I missed about New York was going to see movies at the Alamo Draft House that had opened in Brooklyn. I could walk there, I went there all the time. Once they opened Alamo in Brooklyn, I don't think I saw a movie at any other theater. After moving to Los Angeles, I was bummed out to find that there was no Alamo Draft House. It was coming, they were opening, they were planning it, but it wasn't open yet. And I felt that that was so strange because this is Los Angeles, the film capital of the world. How do you not have an Alamo Draft House? Well, kids, Alamo Draft House is now open in Los Angeles. And once again, I can walk there. And as a matter of fact, I'm walking there tonight. 